So, breaking news, it is now official. Logan Sargent has officially been fired from Williams and will be replaced for the remainder of the 2024 season, starting off at Monza this weekend for the Italian Grand Prix. So it's been no secret that James Vow has had intentions of replacing the American driver after it was discovered on Monday that uh, he had been deep in conversation with both Christian Horner and Toto Wolff during the Dutch Grand Prix weekend um, to replace the American with Liam Lawson and maybe Mick Schumacher. However, with Horner wanting to keep Lawson free if Red Bull required his services at any point, the eyes more shifted towards Mick Schumacher making an F1 return, which would have been huge, by the way, given the announcement of Jack Doohan at Alpine. However, Williams didn't just didn't go that route and decided to hire a rookie instead. And this is what uh, James Vow had to say about this matter. Uh, Logan remains a talented driver, and we will support him to continue his racing career. I know that Franco has great speed and huge potential, and we look forward to seeing what he can do in Formula 1. So you're probably wondering who Logan Sargent has been replaced by. Well, I'll tell you. He has been replaced by F2 rookie Franco Colapino. And, well, the young 21-year-old Argentinian, uh, who, which, by the way, is the first Argentinian to race in Formula 1 in 23 years, I'm pretty sure. Um, which is a cool fact, um, cool to see as well, and uh, hopefully we see an Italian then soon with Kimi Antonelli and Mercedes, who knows. But uh, anyway, back to the news today. Um, Franco is actually currently an F2 driver for MP Motorsports and currently sit, sits sixth in the championship after scoring a win and two podium finishes. He's also part of the Williams Driver Academy and has made his F1 weekend debut earlier this year when he managed to get behind the wheel of the FW46 in FP1 during the British Grand Prix this year. He says, It is an honour to be making my Formula 1 debut with Williams. This is what dreams are made of. Coming into F1 mid-season will be an enormous learning curve, but I am up for the challenge. And I'm fully focused on working as hard as I can with Alex and the team to make it a success. Uh, this is what James. This is the reasoning behind James Vow's decision to hire a uh, Williams Academy driver. Um, we have just brought a large upgrade to the car and need to maximise every point scoring opportunity in a remarkable tight midfield battle. We also believe in investing in our young drivers in the Williams Racing Driver Academy. And Franco is getting a fantastic opportunity to demonstrate what he is capable of across the final nine rounds of the season. And in a way, to be honest, it's nice to see a F1 team actually utilising the academy. Of course, uh, we've seen Red Bull very well dishonour their academy in a way, with Sergio Perez, for example. Um, it's... It's been a real shame. So it's, I got a huge respect to James for um, hiring Franco um, through the ranks. It's usually it's literally what the academy is for. Um, but I wish that they would at least hire Lawson or Schumacher because um, I feel like replacing Logan Sargent with a rookie is very very risky. You know, um, in saying nothing against Franco, you know he could very well actually. Um, provide some good perform good results and good performance. Uh, he actually might genuinely be surprising, and this is a fantastic opportunity for him. But it is very risky compared to putting Liam in the car, who we knew how good he was last year. Um, Schumacher, he he definitely um, has been. He's, he's had a rough time in Formula One during Haas, but he, he has showed a lot of promise in that time. So it's very interesting, but I'm very excited for Franco. It's a fantastic opportunity. I'm curious to see how he does with teammate Alex Albon. Um, it's great to see another rookie in Formula 1, and good to see, like I said, the academy working like it should. What do you guys reckon? Do you reckon um, you're happy with this decision, or do you reckon Schumacher should have uh, had a C, or do you reckon someone else? Because there was a rumour that Stoffel van Dorn was also uh, rumoured to possibly take that seat too. It, 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 all, it all went crazy. Um, but I'd love to hear your thoughts. If you want to share your opinions, feel free to let us know in the comments below. Um, but uh, for all your motorsport news, be sure to follow Let's Talk Motorsport. 
Be sure to hit that like button and to st and stay up to date with us. And uh, be sure to check out ltmotorsport.com for all your latest motorsport news.